Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're gonna to look at CSS width properties in Canvas, meaning if you have an element, whether it's a picture or a paragraph or a div or a banner or anything, how can you adjust the widths of those so that they take up certain portions of the screen? So first of all, let's show what that looks like, the end result here. I have this image here in Canvas and I adjusted the width. I put the code right down here at the bottom and we're gonna be working in CSS. And this is inline CSS, so we can apply the CSS right in the HTML editor, and we're gonna apply it right to the image in this first case. So I have an image, and I have certain styling right here, and then I have the source of the image, which is the URL for the image. Or if you uploaded it to Canvas, then this will be the URL within the Canvas course. But what we're gonna focus on right here is this style. This is the CSS. So I'm styling this page using these properties. For one, I have a width of 100%, which means the image is gonna span the entire width of the page, regardless of how big the page is. But I'll also point out that I have a maximum width of 800 pixels. So it goes 100% until it hits that 800 pixel mark, and then it's going to stop getting wider than 800 pixels. And then finally, I have a minimum width of 500 pixels. So I don't want this to, thing to be any smaller than 500 pixels, and I don't want it to be any larger than 800 pixels. But besides that, within those margins, 500 to 800, I want the image to be 100% of the width. So let's take a look at what that looks like. If I adjust the screen, you can see the image is taking up 100%. It's adjusting until I get that 800 mark, and then when I make the screen bigger, the image doesn't get any bigger than 800. And then I also have a minimum width of 500. So once I hit that 500 mark, and I'm going to toggle that. Once I get 500 pixels, it's not going to get any smaller than 500 pixels. So you can see that image right there. So it's 100% until 800 pixels. Now this is for an image and this is the code. This is the exact code that I used for this image. It's a picture I got from Unsplash and I just put the width, the max width and the minimum width. You can also do this for other elements. For example, down here with this text, I created a div. A div is a container that you can put things in in the HTML. In this case, I put some text within the div. And so the style that I used here is I want a maximum width of 800 pixels. I don't want it any larger than that. And by default, a div is going to span 100% of your screen unless you tell it not to. And so I don't need to put, like I did with the picture, make this fill 100%. Instead, I just said, I don't want this any bigger than 800 pixels. But you'll notice when I shrink it down, it shrinks down with the screen. And so that's what divs do. This is pretty common behavior for a div, but what's not common is that once it gets to a certain threshold, it doesn't get any larger than that. And then just for fun, just so that we can see that it's clearly a div, I put a background to it and I added some color to the text so that it wasn't just black. And then I put some padding. What this padding is is saying, I want five pixels on the top and the bottom and I want 20 pixels on the left and the right. And that way the words aren't right up close against the edge there. I always like to have just a little bit of padding if I'm doing something like this. But that's the concept. Again, we're looking at the div and the div adjusts until it gets to a certain width. And then I say, okay, that's enough. I don't want it be, to be too wide. I think 800 pixels is good enough. So let's play around with some other features. I'm going to go in here and edit. And here's our screen. I'm gonna jump right to the HTML editor. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just copy this first part here, all of this text. All right, I copied it right down there and I'm just going to delete these other elements. And so what we're looking at is an image, an image that's 100% wide, which means it'll be exactly 100% as wide as the screen is. And then I have the image right here, the source to the image. And just for clarity, I'll go ahead and put in some text up here. Uh, this is the width of 100%. And let's see what that looks like. I'll go ahead and save it. And then when I scroll down here, I can see, yep, that is definitely 100% wide. And if we play around with the screen in a smaller setting, you can see, okay, yep, so it's 100%. When the screen is small, then that's not a big deal. It's just a little picture and it spans the entire width of the screen, just like this div does up here. And then it grows with the div. And we'll see the div stop growing once it hits 800 pixels, but the picture keeps going. It keeps going as wide as the screen over there. 
All right, so let's go ahead and modify that once more. This time I'm gonna add to it width of 100, but I'm gonna put a max width of 500 pixels. I don't want it any larger than that. Let's go ahead and save that and see what that looks like. Now to see this, I'll have to minimize it. All right, so there I have a maximum of 100%. However, I don't want it to be any larger than 500 pixels, and that's arbitrary. It's, uh, you know, for whatever reason. But you see when I shrink it down, it grows with it until it hits that 500, and then it doesn't get any larger than that. Okay, I'm gonna hop in here and let me copy all of this. I'm going to paste it so that we can play with one more, and this would be the minimum width. Let's make a minimum width of 800 pixels. So I'll go ahead and keep the width of 100%, and then I'll just change the minimum width of 800 pixels. You can see that, yep, that's definitely that's definitely big and it gets to 100% and then when it hits 800 pixels it doesn't get any smaller than that you notice that it stays large and for pictures I don't really see the minimum really being an issue I think that maximum is probably what you will want to aim for that maybe you don't want a picture to get too big but for a picture to say that I don't want this picture to be any smaller than that um, I think that the uses for that would be like if you're embedding a thing link, for example, or if you're embedding something that you want to make sure that it keeps a certain resolution, a certain number of pixels wide, then you can go with that. But in reality, I think that this max width will be most useful for you, that you don't want things to get too big, especially if you want to keep it friendly for mobile. And so I think this code will be exceedingly useful a width of 100%, but a maximum width of a certain amount. And that could be 600 pixels. What we're looking at is this image is 500 pixels. This div right here is 800 pixels. And when I'm designing content in Canvas, I actually like keeping things to under 800 pixels. I don't like things being larger than 800 pixels because I don't think it's good for mobile, for one and it gets really hard to read. If you have text on a large monitor, if the student has a 32 inch monitor, for example, you don't want that to be too big. Let me show you one more trick and I'm actually going to go ahead and duplicate this page so that we can start with something fresh. We'll hop into the HTML editor. I'm gonna delete some of these pictures from the bottom and we'll just focus on the text and that first image. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a div. So this is a div with a style. I'm gonna put a width of 800 pixels and then down here I'm going to go ahead and close the div. So what that's saying is that I'm creating a div and everything that sits inside of this div is going to be 800 pixels wide or at least the container is 800 pixels wide so none of this stuff can be more than 800 pixels wide. And so to simplify it, I'll go ahead and delete this code just so that we can say that this image is 100% of the width but it's only as wide as 800 pixels, so it's not gonna be any longer than that. And I'll go ahead and delete this as well. So let's save that and see what we have. There we go, we can see that this is supposed to be 100% wide, and it is, but I'm saying that it can't be any larger than 800 pixels. So if this tip was useful for you, then I highly suggest that you subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I have more things to share with you. I appreciate all of my subscribers. And I just checked my stats and apparently 96.6% .6 of the people who watch my videos don't subscribe to the channel. And I work to create content that's interesting and useful for you. And so I don't want you to miss out on any of that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be notified of any new content that comes out. And feel free to visit us on social media as well. You all are awesome. And I know that you're doing amazing things in your Canvas courses. So keep up the good work and always be exploring new tips and tricks any way that we can help manage the content for our students and improve our courses. That's what I say. And I also say happy teaching and learning.